What are we doing today? Oh, we're just going to have a little walk into Hungerford. Oh. Saturday, I told my mum I don't go into Hungerford on Saturday. I know, but I'm going on Monday, aren't I? Mm. To see Nan and Grandad. So. Lovely day there. Beautiful. Google Maps says it's a busy area down there. So. Yeah, and my temperature says it's 14 degrees. It's a, it's it is quite chilly, but the sun's quite hot still. Yeah, the sun is it's more, it feels mm. more like 20 degrees, really. I think it? it's about a mile and a half into Hungerford, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Let's have a look around the shops and stuff. Look at that church on the canal, walk back the canal way. Yeah, this is where, I think this is where it's going to... Yeah, this is where they're supposed to... Well, surely they should know from when they put in the gates for the first time. Yeah, like a hundred years ago. Yeah, how are they supposed to get a crane in here? Where's the access? <laughs> my god! <laughs> what wow! What yes! I was just saying, I want to find some parasol mushrooms. Then look! I thought we might find some in this field as well. Oh, Let's pick some then. Yeah, it's the same place. This one? It's made my day, that is. Yeah! That one there. Well, that you one. would have just missed them, wouldn't you? Just walk past them. That one there, that one there looks good. I hope there's some, probably it's some more in here. No, he's gone past it, that one. Yeah. Um, what are these? Are they too small then, these to pick? No, they're alright. Yeah. If you remember last year, guys. Open up a bit, Does that though? one look alright? Huh? Yeah, he's alright. We, we climbed uh, Castle Breen yeah. Gainus, what's it called? We had, to cl we had to climb a... Near Langonin Basin. Yeah. And, and we picked them. some of these and we, they were the nicest mushrooms we've ever had. Yeah, we had... We were only talking about it this day, Josh, weren't we? Yeah. Well, I think we're psychic, you know, I really do. Now, they're quite juicy then. Shame, a lot of these have been knocked over somehow. Yeah. We could use those couple there, can't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. They're called a fairy ring, they're quite rare. You don't, I haven't seen one for... Last time I saw one of these was in the New Forest with Jim. A fairy ring? What the hell? They're not sulfur caps. I can't remember the name of the mushroom now. But they create these perfect rings. Oh, why? They're called a fairy ring. It's brilliant, isn't it? The fairies live in these little cut little houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fairies live in the little houses. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up when I get back. Perfect circle. Of, um, well, why is it? Why do they do a circle? I don't understand that. It's a mystery. Jim did tell me. There's another one here. Yeah. No, we won't be able to. Yeah. If you're at Luke, I'll pack some hazelnuts for Christmas if I start seeing this. In yeah. Months. Walking down a little lane into Hungerford now. Parking here. But it's a bit far from the boat. No problem. Well. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going underneath the railway. Yeah. I thought we were going to go over it. Lovely brook here going through. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. It says right there. <laughs> oh, does it? Where? I'd like to know the Shelbourne. name of it, guys. Rose hips. Yeah. You can use them. Hmm. This is what you get. Um, out of rose hips is what you get itching powder from. In those, go in those um, joke packs, you dry this out, especially the wild ones, and there's like hairs in it, and that's what used to make itching powder. Yeah. But if you get the juices from that, it's got so much vitamin C packed into each one of these. More vitamin C than a kiwi. Really? <laughs> so during the war they used to pick rose hips to keep themselves full of vitamin C. When Don't say what? Mr. Van? Yeah, I knew he was going to say Mr. Van. But... I'm out to the high street. That's yeah, the five pound one. That is cool. Clean shop. Oh, it's face of final frontier. All the captains of oh, um, no, different God. ships. Suitcase. <laughs> Free. Free, please take it. Oh, that's a bit. <laughs> Dead luck. Be painting. That's cool nice. there. That's a nice. Yeah. Devon. Devon. Kingsbridge. Another antique shop over there. Yeah, it's like an antique centre. I wonder if antique rose has been there. Garden centre, 
did. Well, if you want your antique, you know where to come. Mum and Dad's given all my dinky toys to the grandkids. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hmm. Here's what you get. squid. Yeah, but it's because it's real. Proper. Oh, crikey. It's heavy, isn't it? It's not that heavy. But you can't get, if you go online, you can't really get copper kettles now. They're like made to look like copper or they're copper plated. Radio. Whatever it is. I wouldn't know how the hell <laughs> to use that. Phillips. Well, do you know what I did? I had one of these ones, right? My Uncle Jeff gave it to me because it was broken. It wouldn't start or light up. And I took the back off and I was there for hours and hours and I found one of the valves had gone. They're like, there's big valves, they're like light bulbs in the back. And I just bypassed it with some solder and put a normal fuse in its replace. Fired up and had a radio. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. This is a sort of camp. Well, no, it was older than that. Yeah. She's got it's a cannonball there, guys. Do you know what? It's that was the medicine of the day back when castles were around. The kings and people of high status used to have silver. Because yeah. when you put water in silver, silver kills any bacteria. Oh, it's an actual bacteria killing agent. Mm. <laughs> um, we went to New Zealand, we went to the lake, yeah. we saw loads of really big ones like these. And the day's gone only 2.50, yeah. 2.50. You know we'd like one of those. That, that one there. Oh my god, Dad, they've got guns here. What? The PM-63 rack. Polish gun. Oh yeah. This is like the one we had. Mark IV. This is like the one we had in the cottage. This one. Yeah. Really old gun. Mm. <coughs> it's a shell casing. Oh, they get pins out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh... Oh, that's a big. Big gun. Yeah. What's it say? Can't read it. Oh God's sake, John. <laughs> Hi, sweet. Where are you, lovely? <laughs> Yeah. It's worth just showing this. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a little cafe up there. Yeah. It's a German helmet. Can't read it. These old little cameras. Josh, I just have something else to bring back memories. This is a lovely place, Josh, isn't it? No, we passed them. Never get that big. Unless you go up to Scotland, but well, there's some nice rainbows in here as well. A lot of them are little, little small. You know the river that used to run in front of our cottage? That had brown trout in it. Uh, they all died off, I think. How crystal gin clear that is, isn't it? been in the boys had a cold drink well, I don't like cold drinks so I've just been in to get a cup of tea somewhere in Hungerford and um went in I said what do you want oh, are you sure no she said so weak she said no don't worry about it she said just don't tell my boss she goes gave me a free cup of tea when do you ever get a free cup of tea
Sorry about how dark it is, I can't find the light switch. Probably the most impressive church I've seen in this area so far. You can in the shop, can't you get big ones like that? That's a nice one. Broken. I think I, is that when you just broke off? Yeah, he's right. Yeah, we've got a couple more to get as well. Yeah. Hi? Yeah. Can I step down on that, Josh? Yes. God. So this is the the River Dun guys. I think you can just walk down here. It's a bit swampy here though. But if you've got boots on like I've got, <laughs> you literally just walk in here. Lovely. Mum's got crocs on, how cold is it gonna be? I don't know. Just deep enough to dip your feet in. And here's the little aqueduct for the canal. So there is an aqueduct here, but it's very small. So it's the 18th today, guys. Day, what is it? Day, is it day, oh, it's day six today, isn't it? I think. Day six. Yeah, Monday six, okay. Tom. George's birthday today as well. <laughs> three today, guys. Yeah, but... Hello. Oh, I'm just talking oh, to you, camera. Oh, the camera. Yeah, he's three today. Happy birthday, Georgie. Happy birthday, Georgie. <laughs> George is not watching, is he? Yeah, yeah, we've been here since Monday, and it's now Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, nearly a week. Dad's tomorrow. just told me something. What's he told you? There's the crane that's in the field. What? Yeah. Yeah, that couple what? I just spoke to down there, the with Otto, the dog that's been run up and down, he loves cats, they've got cats in their house. It's yes. in the field. <gasps> Ironically, we yeah, we're going down to have a look at it now. Yeah. Ironically, they're trying to get up so they can go on the estuary to get up to the River Saw or something. That's oh. where their, their home base Saw? is. That's on the Trent and Mersey, isn't it, Josh? Saw? No, the, the Saw's on the Leicester line oh, with the Grand to, Union. They're trying to get up there anyway. And I said, well, that's weird, I said, because we nearly did it, and I explained to them. But they've done it four times, and now they don't need a pilot, because they've got proof that they... Oh. She just come back up to us and said, oh, no, actually, it's just a dredger. It's just the boat that the went dredger through. The dredger that went through five days ago. Is that part of the fix? And I said, yes, it is part of the fix. That's their working platform. So that <laughs> they stood on when so they lower... I was getting all excited, guys. Just going to go up there and see the crane in the field. Not the thing is though, the CRT would not put a crane in the field this early because they would have to pay for it every day that it's in the field. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming out Tuesday, what I've been sold. Yeah. Oh, I'll just sit back down and relax with a book again then. So what are you doing here? Just going to bake, bake these mushrooms. A little bit of oil on the gills. Stop them drying out. These are our parasol mushrooms we yeah. collected. With a little tiny bit of garlic, salt and pepper, that's about it. Mini cooking video. <clears throat> try them as well. Huh? You try them on the camera. Yeah, I need that. Little tiny weeny bit of garlic. Like that. and that's it. And then over the top, get some. Tiny bit of water in the bottom of the tray. 
and get a steam and a cut. Pretty far over the top. Just to protect them while they're in the environment. The shoes not far. Are they going? About six to eight minutes. It's all in a hot oven. Don't take long. So go really soggy away. And that's our like French stew there to go with it. Beef stew. And some little dumplings we've got. <laughs> mushroom. I need to charge that up. I don't know it's gone yeah. I think. Oh, well what's he made? Really nice. Is it nice? Mm. Mm. Taste it before I Right. So I'm down at Cobbler's Lock now on 20th of September. It's been closed for two weeks today, I think. Now. And it is Tuesday. Okay, the last day on Friday they were. Um, obviously they had the weekend and then uh, Bank Holiday Monday because of the Queen's funeral. So they couldn't come then. And we we all expect them to be here today. But they're not. They're not even here. Tuesday, it was like 2 o'clock now. They're not even here. They should be bringing a crane in now I think if so, nothing happens tomorrow then oh, I don't know it's just getting a bit frustrating at this point the CRT don't seem to give a stuff really but um yeah I'm just doing a little update mum's away mum's gone away for a week pump out is completely full now so we're using the house then. and luckily we do have another pump out on the boat as you may know um, which used to be the second toilet when it was a holiday but so what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our alsan into that pump out um, and using that and then we're going to have to two pump outs but yeah I'm just going to go on a little walk clear my head because I've been inside for about three or four days it's like groundhog day I just do the same thing every day I uh, get up and I start editing, and I edit, I edit for about three, four, five hours, and then I have lunch um, at one o'clock because I intermittent fast, as you may know. And then I go and play the Xbox and have dinner, and then go to sleep. <laughs> just wake up, do the same thing. But I was saying today, I'm going to go for a little walk. Wow. This little hidden gem. I thought I was going to go underneath it. I've got to go on it. Whoa! What kind of step is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried to put my foot on that, but it's not really a step, is it? That's dangerous. Stop, look, listen, beware of trains. Beware of trains. Why would trains come along here? It's a train track. I just heard the beep about 
45 seconds ago. Here it is. Oh my god, that's slow. They're all gonna look at me. <laughs> oh, stopping at the station, isn't it? That's a shame it's private. It's got a lovely little walk down there. I can see like a little bridge where the river is. It's a shame. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, I think it took off because it found a little fly. That's what it's doing, it's waiting for flies. It's amazing. Little dragonfly, not sure which one it is. So what guys, I feel so much better already on this walk. And usually I feel really uncomfortable walking sometimes. <clears throat> Because I haven't done anything in ages, I've got loads of energy and I'm quite energetic and uh, yeah, feel quite good. Perfect temperature as well, it's just absolute perfect temperature. I'm not sure if it's like 15 degrees or 16, 17, something like that. There's no, not even a drop of wind, guys. <laughs> it's perfect. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying this. As you can see, autumn is starting to kick in a little bit now. Some of the leaves are starting to change. Well, it looks like we're taking a detour. Up and around, I guess. Oh, look at that. I love these little archway lanes. It's like a little country lane. And it's just trees arched around it. Beautiful. So I made it to the end of the archway now. Love a little public footpath up there, but that one's not on the map, funny enough. But I got to walk in this little country lane, lo lone. I gotta walk on this little country lane for a little tiny bit. So I guess next footpath down there. I'm pretty much heading towards um Froxfield again. And then I'm gonna walk back on the canal. Look at that. Bloody lovely. Oh, someone comes around here at 60, I've got no chance. This is spooky, isn't it? There's a wasp's nest in that ash tree. Look at them all. Guess this is it, another lane. Wow, look at that. So peaceful. Oh, wow, look at this little crab apple tree. Pop little red apples. Got to say, the surrounding area is absolutely stunning. I just don't like the canal itself very much. Another little private woodland here. Still nice to walk through it though. Little cutting through the trees here. Always reminds me of ski slopes, slopes, <laughs> slopes. As you go up to the mountain, you know, you take the little uh, 
are they called? The uh, cable cars. Mm. I've got that lovely firewood. I'm going to start collecting that soon. Why does it smell like Bombay mix? Look at that. A little quaint cottage. Yeah. Almost down to the canal now. It's a nice little B&B. I'll stay there. Back up with the beautiful river done here. Look at that, it's almost like a mill pond up here. We'll just come off the road here, the humpback bridge is just here. But remember there's a little footpath along the towpath as well. Oh, look how clear that is. Yeah, you can just make out the humpback bridge there. And yeah, this is Froxwood where we wanted to moor but it's too shallow if you remember. And we walked back me and mum and we showed you the winding point which is way too shallow to even turn. So I've already covered this so but this is like a little separate footpath alongside the towpath. The towpath is just there. But for some reason you've got this little footpath as well. I think that's a good point to end this little walk. It's a lovely little walk. Only about two miles. When I get back to the boat it'll be about 2.75. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. And I quite enjoyed that. I, was, I wasn't expecting that. And I didn't see any walkers. Well, I saw a couple but I didn't go past them. I just saw a couple of bikes and once I got to that road part there, God loads of cars um but yeah it's a great walk i'm gonna walk back along the canal now so um i don't really need to show this again do i uh, but yeah i'll see you uh, soon in the next clip whenever that is hopefully next time i speak to you it'll be an update oh yes foraging josh is back look what i got guys these are puffballs dad's been on about these for ages oh i can't wait to find some puffballs look they've been munched at but I don't know. I called up Dad and he said they are puffballs. No stalk. So I picked a couple and I'm going to take them back. Here you go. Two puffballs. Yeah, I did a circular walk. Oh. What was the biggest one? 65, 66 inches, wasn't it? 66.7 inches is yeah. the record, yeah. I saw a really big one there, guys. 72 but... inches is a foot. Is six foot. I didn't want to carry it. So that, that one, the one I found, was about a foot. Yeah. The, the one I stuffed years ago was probably this sort of size. Biggest one I've ever found that was. That was Salisbury area. But anyway. I'll have to go get that big one then. If all the puffballs release their spores in Britain now, and every single spore grew into a puffball, and all those puffballs spread their spores, and it, it would continue as a chain reaction, it would grow into a mass 800 times the mass of Earth. <laughs> but, but luckily, the puffballs are very, very um, finicky about where they like to grow, so probably out of a million spores, only one of those will grow yeah. into a puffball. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Oh, they come out like they're held together, well, haven't they? Hmm. First time trying a puffball, don't know what to expect. Mm. Is it as nice as the... Quite nice actually. Is it as nice as the... I think it's quite nice as parasol. Oh. But it's really quite nice. So it is the 21st of September today, the day after. Went on a little walk yesterday, um, but today there actually appears to be something going on down there guys. There's uh, quite a few CRT down there, we're going to have a look at what's going on in a minute. Probably can't film them because I don't like filming people. <laughs> um, but we're walking into Hungerford today to go get some bits and bobs because we've run out of coke and other things. <sighs> so yeah, something's actually going on. Oh, well, they're running off now. So 
so the CRT are here and the news is that um, cranes coming tomorrow and hopefully fingers crossed by Friday or the weekend uh, it will be done because I don't think they work on weekends even though you know it's kind of important you thought they would if it's that important they would post, your, uh, post some uh, CRT workers on the weekend but I guess they don't but yeah everyone's there watching Wednesday. So we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and Tuesday. Well, well, well. Some said this night would, nay, day would never come. Just woken up. Woken up and I heard machinery going. I thought I'd take a look and look what's going on. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm lifting it out. Wow. Got the great zoom lens on now, guys. Looks like they're just sucking it all up. It must have dipped. Dispatch, well, uh, sounds like a dispatch ain't to everyone now. about half an hour now they finally got it attached that's what's coming out now three ton lock gate oh, there she is wow Thing looks old and tattered. Looks like they've attached a balance beam and all the other stuff that goes with it. Just the gate that should have been replaced five years ago on there. Oh my god! Well, it looks to me like it's snapped at the bottom. Well, maybe that's the way they're designed, I don't know. Oh my god, why? <laughs> Look at the lock gate go! Yeah.
and that's it. It's made its journey. I've got to figure out what the hell is wrong with it. So the lock looks like no gate. I'm sure I just went down to see the lock. Um, and yeah, had a chat with the guys there and the crane driver. And you can see what's wrong with the lock gate. Completely snapped. Um, about three quarters of the way down. Uh, there's supposed to be a bracer in, a massive metal plate that bolts into all the beams. So there's about five, six, seven beams down the lock gate. So it bolts into all those to hold it together, give it extra strength. Although all the bolts are missing on the lower part, which means it's got no brace in it. So it's just the oak holding it together, and it's French oak, really rubbish stuff. Um, and that's a, yeah, it's pretty much snapped it because it's only the oak holding it in. So they've got a massive bracer in now, a bigger one. They're going to take it all the way down to all the beams on the lock gate, and then they're going to bolt it all in to all the beams, and hopefully that should hold it together.